Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. What questions? Yeah. Hi, Professor Yun. How are you today? Doing well. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Today I want to take a short interview with you about the organization, organizational ethics. Right. And I know that you have over 25 years of actual experiences within financial services. Sure. Currently, you are a partner at BLA and yeah. help financial institutions to achieve and maintain world class management yeah. structures. So, with your years of experiences, how do you understand all different organizational ethics? Organizational ethics is about creating trust. Trust is what clients and the industry uh, believe in you that you can do a good work. And trust is very important in this industry because if your clients lose trust in you, they won't buy services from you. So we maintain the highest level of ethics so that our clients trust us. Yeah. And have you ever had an issue of ethics with your past positions? Yeah. If so, what happened and how do you handle it? Yeah, uh, I had one uh, where clients would ask me to uh, change my report uh, because they want to use it for different purposes. Um, management got obviously their reasons to do things, but I'm an independent consultant, so we do things according to the truth, to the data. Um, and I had a difficult conversation with that client to say, you know, we have to maintain our level of trust here. Uh, it, it is not uh, something that we would do. Uh, we have to report the facts as it is. And so we did that. And in the end, uh, the company, uh, you know, trusted uh, trusted us to deliver the report we were supposed to be doing. Yeah, trust is important. Yes. And do you think ethical misconduct is more difficult to overcome than poor financial performance? That's a very good question. Um, Wall Street, especially here in New York City, is under so much pressure to deliver. You read it in the news. Ethically. Uh, it, it drives people, you know, to do difficult decisions. You read it in the, in the news as well, you know, um, with all the suicide attempts and all of it. Yes, the answer. Ethically, it's not as simple as it is because of the financial pressure. But in my belief and my companies as well, if you hold a high bar and walk, uh, you know, the talk, I think um, you'll be doing the right thing. Business will come to you, and uh, your reputation is the most important you have on Wall Street. Uh, will be uh, retained. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, but not yes. And why do you think the ethical climate of the organization is important, and like what biases can impact our moral decision making? Yeah, that's a good question. Um, the leader of an organization or people in the organization might talk about high ethics and be trained in high ethics, but it's the organization as a whole that has to uh, behave in a certain way that upholds the ethics. And that's not easy. The whole organization has to pull together and act in the same way. And that involves training, that involves um, you know, working as a team. Moral dilemmas are the most difficult thing to manage, especially when it involves peripheral issues like um, uh, equality, uh, diversity, and uh, social justice. Those are the very difficult things which cause friction with uh, ethics, especially business ethics. Business ethics cannot account for everything. But it's my belief that if you do the right thing again uh, for society, as part of society, uh, business will just come and, and it, will, it is a good business foundation. Diversity is a good example. Uh, companies which follow you know, very good diversity practices are now rewarded. Companies which don't follow good diversity practices, uh, workplace environment, they treat their workers not very well, they are being punished. They're, they're just, you know, clients are, are leaving them in a very bad way. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all the questions I want to ask today. Really good conversation. Yeah. Cool. And thank you so much for taking time to help me to do this interview. Thank you. And You're welcome. You. No problem. No problem at all. <laughs>